funny. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I want to show you something. But I want to show you something that requires a little nothing. Sounds strange, right? Let's start with my hands. Nothing there. But I see a little nothing that I need. I see it right there. Do you see it? No, we shouldn't. It's really nothing. But if you just give it a little bit of a rub, that nothing becomes something. It becomes a <laughs> Morgan Silver Dollar. That's a um, Lady Liberty on one side and a Flying Eagle on the other. Now the Flying Eagle allows that coin to fly and it can fly in the air and actually go from one hand to the other. Sometimes it can even go right through my hands to the other one. Uh -huh. But I have an extra coin. It's a little secret. I keep one coin right here on my lapel for safekeeping. So that's two coins, two Morgan silver dollars right here, or actually two coins, one in each hand. Two Morgan silver dollars are great, watch, and they travel. It's better if you had three, so let's see if we can do that. One, two, that's three. <laughs> three Morgan silver dollars. They'll return from where they came, one at a time, back to nothing. That's coin one. Coin two in a similar way, just like that, back into nothing. And the last coin, right before your eyes, a snap. There's nothing. Nothing here and nothing there, but you know where it is. I've already told you, it's keep it right over here on my lapel. Wow. You can do that with a, a silk. <laughs> do it with a silk, similar way. I can take the coin and just drape it into the silk for safekeeping, just like that. I hold it, I give it a squeeze and a shake. The coin vanishes. You know where it is. It's over here. Oh, wrong side, sorry. It's over here. Now they say you can't buy much with a coin. I tend to disagree. You can buy a bottle of uh, Chardonnay. <laughs> 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 you know, if you miss that, if you miss that, I can do it in slow motion for you. Very slow motion, If you see the coin, I just simply place it in my hand, just like that. Now you know what's going to happen. It's going to go into nothing. And that nothing is right up there. Let's see. Ah, there it is. If you can't see it, I can make it bigger. I'm making it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. No battle one. That was good. <laughs> the card tricks is that sometimes the magic happens well before the cards ever selected. Let me show you what I mean. Got to start with a deck of cards, right? Can't do many card tricks without. So if we take this deck and we just give it a little bit of a squeeze, just like that, before we even start, the magic's happening because that deck's actually gone. The deck's really right here. So let's start with a card trick. <laughs> Make sure we have them all out. And we'll place the box right here. Um, Justin, right? Justin, why don't we do something simple? I'll give the deck just a little bit of a cut and make sure it's well mixed. And we're going to use your hand as the stage because this is close-up magic. Put your hand down. We're just going to turn over the top card. It happens to be a, a queen of clubs. We'll place it right there right in your palm. And this is where the magic happens. I'll take the next card, and that happens to be the four of diamonds. Four of diamonds and the queen of clubs. I'm sorry. I'll just place mine right here. It'd be absolutely fair. All I do is cast a shadow over the cards, just like this. What card did you have again? Queen of Clubs. That's right, right. Actually, I have the Queen of Clubs. Can you turn over your cards? <laughs> <laughs> we can do something a little different, so Justin. Well, why, don't we have, why don't we have you sign the card? And we'll have you sign your name on it. That's fair. You sign your name right over there. It doesn't make a difference if I know what the card is. And you know, to make it a really good trick, do you want to put your um, Visa card there? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one ever falls for that. <laughs> okay, why don't you place the card right here? And we'll do a little magic with that. I'll just give the deck a couple of cuts. And I'll take the pen back so I don't lose it. There you go. I'll place it right back here. Okay, now, we're going to do some magic, but actually you're going to do the magic. All I want you to do is snap your finger and you'll be the magician. So if you do that, that actually causes one card to jump. It happens to be Justin's card. <laughs> Justin's signature right on top of the deck. And it makes little difference whether we place it right in the middle and we'll leave it out to the last second, just like that. As long as we push it in and you do the magic, just snap your finger. 
That causes Justin's car to migrate right from the center to the top. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, so we'll do it one more time and we'll give Jeff the magic. Jeff, why don't you just snap your finger? You can turn the card over yourself. Even Jeff. Wow. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make it real easy to follow. We'll leave your card in a position like this. So you can get a visual image of your card. It's sticking right out, just like that. No other card is. I'll give you another look at it. I haven't done the magic yet. And I'll leave it out, John, just like that. Now, who can, you know how to shuffle cards, I'm sure you do. Played cards in the past. Why don't you take the cards in your hand and give them a nice shuffle? Okay? Just any shuffle you'd like. And I'm going to show you that I actually I'm have... I'm doing it legit now. I actually have a prediction that I keep in my wallet. It's a prediction that I had in here well before um, I decided to come here today. I actually put it in my wallet this morning. Now, I'll leave it right here. Give it just one cut. I'm just going to go like that. And that's going to cause one card to travel. And believe it or not, inside here I have some money. money. I have some other things, but I also have a zippered compartment. Inside that zippered compartment, I actually have an envelope. Right here, one envelope. You can see that that envelope is closed. Would you mm -hmm. be so kind, just give it a tear and open it up and let's see what we have in there is my prediction. I'm scared to tear. Don't be scared. I am. <laughs> Sorry. Just show it to everybody. And what card is that? That's <laughs> Justin's card. Thank you. We'll do one last thing. We'll actually take Justin's card and place it right in the middle. You can see it it's right there. And we do something that a modern magician does. A modern magician doesn't use a wand. Modern magicians may use um, technology. I like using a cell phone. So, Jeff, I want you to hold that cell phone in your hand. And I want you to put it, um, yeah, make a sandwich, one hand on top of the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Justin's card, which is somewhere in the middle, jump. And it's going to jump from this pack, and it's going to land in between the phone and one of your hands. Right or left, I'm not sure. I'm not that good. Here we go. Oh. If we do it just like that, did you feel anything? I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Excellent. You felt that? <laughs> That's scary. Watch. Your card, your signed card isn't here anymore. Did you feel it? You did feel it. Lift your hand up. Let's see if it's there. Maybe the other side? No. Oh. You know what? Maybe I said it wrong. I said it would jump underneath the car, underneath the phone, but what I meant to say, it's going to jump inside the phone. If you take off the back where the battery is, you'll see there's one card folded in there. And if I take that card out, why don't you open that card and see what it says? And that's oh. just as fun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Very good. Thank you guys. You guys are great. That's really good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>